YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the exact steps you can be doing every single day to make coins on FIFA 23. And we're also gonna take a peek at the level up cards and how I think they're going to be moving up or down in the market. But before we do all that, we gotta talk about content today on Sunday. If you wanna have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was pretty solid. We got another level up SBC with Savanier and this Savanier, his upgraded card is fairly solid and the way to get him is, you know, a fun way. You don't have to play games. Everyone hates the fact that they have to play games for this promo. It blows my mind. We have a, a video game where you have to play the video game to get a better version of a card that you have. And we hate that. I don't know. But 85 overall squad for the Savanier. Fairly cheap. And then to get the upgraded version of his card, we need to do the upgrade SBCs, which I'm going to go to the live section. I, I don't know. I always go here. I feel like it's a little quicker. Also, this 93 plus team of season or shapeshifter player pick SBC refresh in some of our fodder went up in price because of that we bought some high rated fodder and we bought some team of the season cards if you were in the vip discord or in the free trading discord it was kind of posted in there so if you saw that awesome these upgrades are back 380 plus player pack and the soaring silver upgrade which you can do 10 times every single day it's making silver cards good for trading again and um it's it's great you can basically craft savanier for free if you have a decent amount of silvers in your club and it's it's really 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 easy to do and this level up crafting upgrade guys <laughs> it's a 380 plus player pack and it takes six gold commons six that is it that's all it takes so you know gold common trading is really good again silver trading is really good again and if you want to craft the savanier this is unlimited you can do it as many times as you want for the next 11 days and if you do it 35 times, you complete the Savanier, and on top of completing Savanier, you get a bunch of packs. I mean, 83 double, 383 plus, 284 plus, 384 plus, 85 plus times three. Timmy Season player back, Shapeshifter player back, and you get this five star skill move, five star weak foot Savanier. So I think that's a dub from EA. Really solid card that you get. And on top of that, you get a bunch of packs, bunch of packs. We actually opened quite a few of these on stream. People that did the whole thing and opened all their 380 plus player packs. We got quite a few level up cards in those packs as well. So that was pretty dope there. Uh, so that's that with upgrade SBCs. You know, I said silver trading and gold common trading is working again. Guys, it was so easy. I made 6K in like 6,000 coins in a couple minutes. I invested in a bunch of team of season cards. So I had 18K and I got up to 24, 25,000 coins around there. So really easy to do. And for those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, if you're on a low budget, do not do this on a high budget. If you, this is like, if you have hundred K, 250 K, you can sit here and do something like this. I went gold common. I'd say hundred K. I wouldn't even do this with 250 K gold common 350. You can literally just bid, 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 bid. I was winning. I was winning so many gold commons for 300 coins, 350 coins, and they sell for 800 coins. And it's the same concept with silvers. They just sell for a different price. 800 takes five minutes to sell. The silvers sell for a different price, but you can win them for like 150, 200 coins. And they are selling for 650. I'm going to guess 650 because it's what they were at last time. 600 coins is what they sell at. So same thing with silvers. I prefer the gold commons, but the silvers do work. And that's that with gold common and silver trading. Now let's talk about trading every day. This video is going to be super simple, very straightforward. Apologies for these videos being late recently. I've been, I've been exhausted lately. I'm not going to lie. Summer. It's summertime. The, the sun is draining me. But um, let's talk about it. Follow this three step. I don't even know how many steps. There are three steps just sounded right. Follow this program. And this is how you can make coins every single day. This process. So, okay. Every day do this except Tuesday. We'll talk about Tuesday. So today, tonight on Sunday, you're going to buy fodder at nighttime. You buy fodder because you know, a lot of people did the SBCs already. Not as many people on the game fodder's down in price. If we take a peek at fodder real quick, let me just, you know, switch it over so I can show you, you know what? No, let's, let's go through the process. We buy fodder at nighttime right around now when these YouTube videos come out, fodder is low because not as many people on the game, not as many people doing the SBCs anymore. Fodder's low. So we buy it at nighttime. Then content drops the next day. Content drops, new SBCs come out, SBCs refresh. People do the SBCs. 
fodder goes up in price. And then one of the SBCs that refreshes, one of the ones that they're doing every day is the team of the season SBC. So, you know, fodder goes up with new SBCs coming out, team of the season SBC refreshing. People open that team of the season SBC. It's a tradable team of season pack. What do people get? A bunch of team of the season cards. So an hour after content drop, hop on bids for team of the season cards. You can get really good deals on bid. And then you sell your team of the season cards and make a ton of coins every day at content drop. I picked up a few Urentes. I'm hoping he can go up in price, but I might actually end up losing here. You can see the other ones that I actually made coins on. I was doing pretty solid on some of these, actually. I won this Javi Golem for 12,000 coins on bid. It's, it's really, really simple to do. So it's simple. At nighttime, buy the fodder. At content drop, you sell the fodder. An hour after content drop, you wait for the bids on these team of the season cards to pop up. You bid on the team of season cards. You then sell those team of season cards, which you see me doing right here. And then at nighttime, you buy fodder again. And you just keep doing that and keep doing that. Now, the reason why I mentioned Tuesday and potentially waiting for Tuesday is we have a team of the week SBC coming out that is, it's not coming out, it's just refreshing. And it's the tradable tradable team of the week SBC and if we look at team of the week cards at the moment here's the SBC by the way it is 184 minimum and an 82 overall squad if we look at team of the weeks right now they're expensive they are very expensive we checked their price out I think they were like 19k and now they're what 18.75 just about they're up a lot so I'm hoping we can buy team of the week cards on Tuesday for you know probably discard like 10,000 coins on bid and then we'll look to hopefully hold them until the SBC looks to refresh again and sell them on like Sunday or Monday. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with team of the weeks. Now you could just trade, keep trading every single day. But if you want something where it's like, you know, I'm just going to full send an investment. The cards are kind of expensive. So it's not like 83s where you have to buy thousands. Instead, you'd have to buy maybe 200 team of the weeks and you can turn a million coins into 1.5 million it doesn't take that much work it's up to you if you want to grind you can keep doing this team of the season trading every day and investing in fodder every day but some people you know it's summer you want to enjoy your summer you don't want to buy have to buy a ton of cards so that's my take on the team of the week cards and that's that's really it for the investment trend on things now to show you guys the filters that i do so you can see like I'll give prices as well on fodder, but like at content drop, an hour after content drop, when you're selling, when you're buying, sorry, not selling, buying team of season cards, this is all I do. Like if people ask me, what's the filter that I'm using? It's it's not hard. I literally, I look, okay, how much are team of season moments right now? They're selling for 14, 1375. They're down in price right now. They're 1375. So I'll be like, okay, I'd probably want to bid max 12K. So I could go max price 12K, but also there's so many bids, I could just go max price 11K. And a decent amount will probably pop up for really cheap. Same thing goes with team of the season cards. If I look at team of the season cards, I'm gonna guess they're like 28K. I'm not even gonna look at it. I could then make my max price 16K. I could make it 18K. I could make it 21K. Just anywhere where it's profitable. Remember, EA tax is 5%. So if I can sell a card for 30,000 coins, it's going to take off 1,500 coins. I'll get 28,500 coins back. So I'd probably want to make at least 1,000 coins per card. So if they sell for 30K, I'd say max I'll bid is 27,000 coins. So, you know, 27K max price if I wanted to do that. But I, I really, I usually don't do that. I'll just stick it randomly. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to go bid on Team of Seasons. Boom, boom. And then I just search and I start bidding. That's what I do. It's nothing too crazy. You can see 15K. There's a 15K bid right there. So let's talk about bidding on fodder because this is where, like, if you guys are on a lowish budget, and by lowish, I mean like anything under a mil, you can make bank. Like, people were in my stream and they were like, dude, Teddy, um, I'm making bank on some of these filters. And I showed these filters in the previous video and we're gonna talk about them again. I don't even know if I listed the cards up. I think I just sent them, no, I did. So you guys can get cards on bid for ridiculously cheap. Like we're at a point where just no one's bidding on the cards. Look, I got an 84 overall card for 1,200 coins on bid, 84 overall card for 1,300 coins on bid. That's almost min price. And I was doing the same thing with 85 overall cards. Now the filters, it's the same one as in the previous video. Right now for fodder, if we take a peek, I'll pull it up on Flippin. 
I only, I mean, I do like some of the high rated fodder. I think it can do good. But the fodder that I like the most is the lower end. Because 87s, you know, they're kind of up in price because of that Icon SPC that came out. So I don't know if I'm going to look to buy these 87s again until probably that Icon SPC looks to refresh. So kind of stepping back on some of that high rated fodder right now. And we're looking at 83s, 84s, and 85s. Now, 83s are very, very low risk and, you know, it's easy to profit on them. You know, they do go up at content drop. They're kind of really down at the moment though. So I'm actually stepping away from 83s. Yes, I've been still trading with them and, you know, I've been lazy listing them for like 1200 coins and getting sales, but I'm slowly moving on from the 83s and I'm moving on to higher rated fodder like the 84s and the 85s. Maybe if the 86s are around 6,000 coins, we'll look to buy that. But 85s and 84s, you can, if you were in my stream, I actually put this on the screen for a little bit. There we go. 2,000 coins for 84s, 5,000 coins for 85s. Now, those are the prices that I had listed, but you can get for way cheaper. Look, so this is the price for 84 overall cards. We'll go min buy now, 2,400, max buy now, 10K. Now look at some of the bids on 84s that pop up. Let's see, 1,100 coins. I'll bid 1,200 right there. I don't even have to bid 1,200. I can bid, I mean, I can just bid 1,100 and we'll see. Here we go, another one. I'll just toss bids. And you would be surprised as to how many of those cards you get for ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. I'll just toss a few of these bids out and let's just go, I don't know, a couple more. One, we'll do three more. One, da, 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 da. I can also, instead of making the max price like 2K, I could lower it to like 1500 coins and it would really just end up being super cheap. 84 overall cards on bid and one more bid and that'll be it and then we'll move on to 85s so i can show you those real quick i'll finish off this page and that's that now 85 overall cards their min price starts at 2100 so that's where we're going to put it and we want them for 5k or less so we're going to look at something like this we'll go 10 to 5 now we hit search and when we look You'll see 85s, you know, there's some decent deals. Even look at this 86, 3,600 coins right there. No one was even touching it. No one was even touching it. You'd be surprised how many of those cards go through and no one even bids on them. 86 for 5K, they're over 6,000 coins. Why not? I mean, I just put a filter up for 85s and I'm getting a lot of 86s popping up. So I'm, I'm hopping on those. Not too many bids right there for 85s actually, but you know, usually you can get them on bid for very cheap. You saw it if you watched the previous video, that's what I was doing. But that's the filter that you would use to buy 85s. So I like 84s and I like 85s. I think they're solid investments. And, and that's pretty much that. You trade with the team of the seasons at content drop and you buy the fodder at nighttime. Let's see if we won any of that fodder. I actually, I don't think I did. But let's see what it went for. Maybe there were some deals. So 1,300 on an Emmy Martinez, 1,200 coins on a boner. Uh... 1700 coins on a matip 1600 coins on an emmy martinez 5200 coins on an 86 an 86 just went for the price of an 85 so that's that's a really good deal right there no way 3800 coins on that lukaku 3800 coins on that lukaku that's a ridiculous deal 5200 coins on malinkovich savage so i'm just letting you guys know if you do take the time to go on bids these are the prices right here that i am telling you to buy at but you can get for much less and if i was going to predict the price that 84s go to i'd say at content drop they're like 2800 coins i'd guess 85s are closer to 6000 coins now we do have to mention if you don't want a daily trade you could hold them until wednesday or thursday wednesday or thursday is usually the peak with fodder monday tuesday wednesday is when fodder during the week starts to tend to rise you know there's no more foot champs not as much supply and more sbcs do come out so they should start to rise Wednesday, Thursday is around the peak. But, uh, you know, you can just sell them every single day at Content Trap. You can just see up, down, up at Content, down at nighttime. So that's that. Hopefully as well, let's talk about upcoming SBCs. Uh, you know, Monday is usually an upgrade SBC day, but we do have the crafting upgrade. So maybe, maybe we get a player pick, some sort of player pick tomorrow on Monday. Maybe like an 85 times 7. Maybe the 84 times 10 comes back out again. 
Uh, just expect SBCs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, hopefully we can see our fodder rise a decent amount. I'm watching USA versus Canada on my iPad right now. Uh, no compensation news as well. I should mention that. We have no news on compensation. You know, we talk about it every video. Just if anything comes out, I'll let you guys know. Let's just mention the level up cards now. That's what you're doing for trading. If you guys join the streams, I'm live every day at Content Drop. If you have any questions, I'm going over everything. It's very, very simple. It's... Just join the streams at Content Drop. I'll be I'll be explaining everything, and then sometimes you'll be like, guys, you know, we're waiting right now. We're waiting an hour for Team of Season bids to pop up, and I'll just be sitting there opening packs. But level up cards. I, I feel like I should mention this. You know, it's risky to daily trade them. Yes, they can go up and down. Like this KDB is coming very low, and he very well might rebound. We might see a bit of a rebound on this KDB. But I feel like I need to mention. Because I saw a lot of people coming into the stream and like, Teddy, I'm losing so many coins on my level up card. What do I do? Like you guys hold on i brooks calling you guys gotta understand when it comes to this promo it's a promo where you know you have a card once you do the objective there's no need for this card anymore so you can sell this card and then you got the 99 kdb so you know as time goes on people complete the objective they're going to be selling the card and i'm filming a youtube video call you back in like two minutes okay so, uh, there's no need for the card. So as time goes on, people are just going to keep listing the card. And then the next person that buys it completes the objective, puts the card back on the market. So as time goes on and they get packed more and more people complete the objective, they, I feel like they should just go down in price. So, you know, if you do have these cards, be careful. If you're trying to fluctuation trade with these cards, daily flip them or whatever it may be, just be careful. I'm, I'm interested in this KDB because he, he's been extinct basically at 15 mil. And as soon as he ended up being on the market, the dude's pretty much 10 mil. That is a fat in one hour he's dropped about what three mil two mil that, that's a that's a big drop off so just be careful if you have those cards and that's that if you guys have any questions comment section down below free trading discord twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace